What is up guys, Patson here, and today's video we're going to be talking about Team of the Season investments. Team of the Season is coming up shortly, so we need to kind of get the club ready, see what we're going to do about it, and get some players that could help with for SBCs. So on the screen we are in the transfer market, and I'm going to be showing you some players that may be needed for SBCs. So first things first, when you come towards SBCs, you want to try and pick the most high overall players for the cheapest price. Obviously you can go on certain websites, foot, footwiz, stuff like that, to try and find the highest overall player for the cheapest price. But I'm going to go through as some players you might need for SBCs in the future, just to have them in the club and the cheap right now. And it's the market crash. You want to pick up players that's going to help you in the future to get them team the season SBCs. So first things first. The first player which I would recommend straight away is you want to look at goalkeepers. Because normally when you have high overall players you need to have a goalkeeper and they don't need much chemistry. So Peter Cech obviously is the first one. He's an 88 overall. He's got a very good card. Might use him in the weekend league. Trying to save your coins. Might have Butlin. Something like that. So he's around 15 to 16k, making him for cheaper on bid. But that's the first one, Peter Check. Second one here we have Hugo Lloris, which is a very decent card. A lot of people use him. He's a little bit more expensive because he's actually used in FIFA. He's around 2k more. So if you want to try and stock up, actually stock players up for team of the season. I would recommend 84 overalls. This is kind of going out on a whim and saying. If they need like a high overall SBC, they'll bring out someone that'll need these kind of players. The goalkeepers are normally the cheapest first, and then the in-game players like Lom and Bonucci and all them need to actually go up in price when stuff like this happens. So you need chemistry somewhere in them teams. So as I said there, Bonucci is the third player. He's around the same price as Czech, yet one less overall. That's because he's actually varied and used in weekend league and stuff like that. But decent enough card if you want to try him out and keep him in your club. So another one, we'll go. We'll just wrap off a few from the list here. We we'll have Philip Lom, who is a high overall card for right back. He's normally around 20k, but I've seen him go for 17k at late night bid and stuff like that. So he can be a useful card as matched with this guy here. Hummels obviously is a decent enough card. Not many people use him. That's why his price is around 16k. So what I would say about Hummels, he links with Lom very well. So if you need chemistry, you get like 7 chemistry on each player I do believe so they have got Hummels and Lom so what I'm going to do now is just go through a few little players that might help you out in just random SBCs so we'll go through the full list here we have that's not how you spell it wait there eh? let's put in Aaron Ramsey so the reason Aaron Ramsey is in here because he's around the same price every time there's a marker crash which is around anything from 2 to 3k, as you can see, he's 3k a bit there. For 84 overall, that's most likely to be using the SBC, that is decent. Which, a lot of time on bids, you can get him for around 2.5, 2.6. Which I would recommend picking a few up. It, it's worth the risk, to be honest, in case something does happen and you do need the SBC cards. So, next to him, we have his counterpart from his same team, Granite Yaka, or Jaka. He's normally around the same price, a little bit cheaper, as you can see there, 3k. Around the same price, and they both give you chemistry, which is a good thing. And I'll go to another player here who's always around, kind of cheap sometimes, but sometimes he goes up in price. Javier Mascherano. So what they've introduced into the kind of, in the kind of SBCs, you need a few 85 overalls to get an 84, 84 team now. So... That's the reason I've put Mascheron, he's probably not the cheapest one, but he's around 10k if you need that kind of boost in overall. So next we have another Frenchman, to go with Lloris, we have Ruffier, who is normally very cheap. As you can see here, for an 85 overall card, he's around 4.8k as you can see there. So I would recommend him a lot, and another one which has just got a downgrade actually, is Steve Mandanda, who had an 85 there's his 85, there's around 6k. But I don't think he's worth his 85s getting unless you can get him for under 5k. But you probably could at late night bidding. So his 84 is around 3k. It's the same price as same price as Ramsey and Yaka. So I recommend him as well. Then if we just go on the market here, I'll show you how many let's go on gold, it's easier. So I'll show you how many actually 
deals that are just on the market itself. So we've got someone like Alexandro there, who is one of the best left backs in the game. He's going for around 8k. Last week I looked and he was going for 12k. So he's down 4k, which is a good card, but I would wait until the team of the season. This card will be around 3 to 4k. So there's a few players that are still going for quite a lot. This Manny card is obviously going for a lot because he's a good card. But Koki is a decent enough card if we can get him for cheap. So if we keep looking through here, you can see all these, a lot of these cards going for 650. Chris Smolin, the best centre back in the game, is going for 8k. So if you want a cheap Premier League team, now is your time to do it because team of the season is only going to get players cheaper. By the way, I'm not saying like go and buy these players straight away. I'm telling you the investment tips you can do. So he has an 86 overall card. Santi Carfordla or Carzola. He's around 9 to 10k. If you've seen the price of Mascherano just before, he was around 10k. So you're getting an extra overall here, and he's an in game player at a midfield position. So you're getting something out of it around 10k, which I would recommend that as well. This Bar's Ugly card's around 11k. If you need that another 86 overall to try and get you through. So I'm just looking through the market here and tell you players you should pick up. So I would recommend if you can pick up any 83s for like 1 or 2k, maybe under 2k. And then one SB, SBC hit, you can sell them for a lot more than what you got them for. So I'd recommend that as well if you want like quick, quick coins. As well as picking up players from big leagues which are like higher than 82 overall. So you see this parent card here. 83 goalkeeper in the Casio A and you can probably get him for around a K now. So that's decent if you're waiting for SBCs and trying to play the long game on FIFA. So I think there's going to be an SBC, a team of the season for every inform card. So we'll have a look at informs and look through the price right now. So if we look at the prices here, as you can see the want to watchers stay the same pretty much. Because I don't know why they don't like go up. I know why, but it doesn't really make sense. So you can get like a few want to watchers for around 20k. We we'll have Benteke, Mustafi, all these players. That will go down a team this season. This Alonso will go down a team this season. Because he'll get a... I think he's going to get a 90 rated left back card. Which will be decent enough for him. I think... I don't know about Walcott if he'll get a team this season. Ben Teke will, I think. So, another thing. Team this season cards don't actually upgrade the want to watch cards. Which is fine as well by me. I'm not really bothered by that. As I saw, obviously traded in that can't air for the PFA one. So a few informs that I would look at is this a mobile card or mobile. I think you can get them for around 30k now, which I seen the other day he was on bid for that. And just look for high overall players that are cheap and pick them up. So I'll pick a few out here that I know of. So we'll have in the Ever Divisi, we have someone called Jens Toonstra who has an 84 overall card, if you can find him. He's around 17 to 20k because when there was an SBC for an informed player, you need the 84 overall team. And he was one of the cheaper players at the time, as with, as with this guy, Guadrado, the Mexican centre mid. He's around the same price, around 15 to 25k. So he's decent enough card for trading and stuff like that. So you get, if you want to trade a profit here, try and get him for 15k and relist them for 17. Most likely you're going to make yourself a few coins there. So let's look at something here. We'll put the min price at 10k. And you can just see like how many cheap cards are on the market right now. So we have this Jovetic card. Probably not worth the coins there because team of the season has come around and you don't want to spend your coins that much. But... People like Ganzo, 84 overall, who is very cheap. And you're going to need him for an SBC in the future. So if you can get in form 84 overall for under 14k, deal. If you can get an 85 overall for under 16k, get him. So and anything over that, I would say 88 overall players under 30k and 89 under 60k. Something like that can help you out. So these players here, I wouldn't bother with them. Benzema and Isco are just pointless right now. Team of the season coming and then players are definitely going to get one. So there's not much else to say about this team of the season investment video. I would just like to thank everyone for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye.